Hello and welcome to Caster Crafts. So I've got a little haul here. These are some dies that were sent to me by a company I'd not heard of before. Cocorosa.com? Cocorosa Studios? Um, I can't exactly remember how to say it because pronunciation is not always my strong point. Um, but in the title, hopefully I will have written it correctly and also all the links to all the different products will be in the description box along with the discount code which I think you can get 15% off if you buy something from them. But anyway, let's have a look and see. So some of the items are quite, as you said, most of the items I would say are quite Eastery, which is slightly late, but never mind. Such is life. Um, I do like Easter products, though. Um, it's a nice time to craft for, I think, because it's all like bunnies and chocolate and things like that. So I've got two different word dies. Um, so I did get to choose these. So these are my choice, in case you're wondering. Um, first of all, I went for something quite generic. I thought I always need a hello die because um, sending just sort of basic... Hello um, cards is something I do a lot of the time when I'm doing happy mail. So this one's got three different layers. So you've got your base layer, you've got a slightly chubbier one to go on top, and then a skinnier layer to go on top of that. Um, and I haven't made a card with this one, but I have cut it out. And you can see the three layers. It's got the little bubbles where you know, where the push-out holes were. But I think that's because I used it on my Gemini, which has a very, um, very high pressure. So if you didn't want those bobbly bits to show up, you could just use it on a different. I've also been using my little Aldi one a little bit as well, because these are small dies. It's nice you can just push them through your Aldi die cutter as well, or similar die cutters are available. Just show you that so you can see there are three layers. I just, for whatever reason, decided to do it in metallic green pattern and a vellum layer. Um, but there you go, yes, I'm happy with that one. It's a lovely little die. Can't beat a hello die, can you? Um, and the other word one that I went for says Easter. I mean, I was thinking, oh, this might come a little bit late for Easter, but also that I only have one die that says um, Easter wishes. And this one was just too cute. Um... So you can see, just it comes in two pieces. That's the backing bit, and the bit goes on top. So it says Easter, but the E is shaped like a bunny or a rabbit. The children always go, bunny, and I'm like, no, nope, in your writing, you're going to say rabbit. Um, and then I say bunny all the time. But there we go. Look how cute that is. I just, I just love, I just love how the E is a rabbit. I don't know. Anyway, I made this little card and this is my favourite card that I've made actually. I just think it's adorable. And that image is um, an impression obsession stamp that I forgot I even owned. So I was glad to uh, to bring it back out. A bit more vellum in place there. And in case you're wondering, I've only glued the vellum down underneath where I stuck bits on top so you can't see any glue marks. That's my intentions there and that's a couple of nouveau drops but yeah a really cool die really cute i think i like it more so actually in this color scheme that's really cute but i love that card so there we go there's that die let's move it out of the way so i don't oh so i don't have stuff everywhere so that is an easter word die then continuing on the old easter theme is a little basket, a basket of eggs. Now, as you can see, I've cut it out, so there's still a few bits left inside, but you're gonna get a bit, one with eggs, um, and then you can obviously layer these bits on. I didn't layer these bits on, but you could do, should you want to. Um, and when I saw it, I thought, well, that would be useful for all sorts of things, because I had the idea of cutting the eggs out and just using it as a general basket with a little bow on the top. And I I still think that. <laughs> so I um, decided to make a basket of bunnies because obviously I'm just bunny obsessed. So um, the first one, I cut it off 
stuck all my little bunnies on and then I did do a layer with those eggs in the background but I decided to make them just plain chocolate eggs because I felt my little bunnies had so much colour uh, basically just because I just happened to like bunnies so I had to have bunnies everywhere but it's quite a, it's a nice looking basket isn't it I'm happy with that basket and it's a really good size now um good crafters who do videos always show sizes don't they so I feel obligated to give you some kind of indication in centimeters you're looking at nearly 12 centimeters in its height and in its width about 10 centimeters which is four inches about four by five if you were going to be rough about it these little sentiments are both about two to three inches long um which is perfect size if you ask me i don't like them too big or too small I love that. I love. <laughs> I just love my little bunnies. Those bunnies are by um, that lawn fawn set that I picked up the other day. So Christmas set. Now it's I've made it Eastery. I don't know. Right, and the final one that I got, um, and it's quite nice. I only got. <laughs> Sometimes these companies can they can send you absolutely loads of dies and it gets a bit overwhelming. Can't see the die now. I can I can see the die cut. Where's the, where's the actual die gone? Oh no, I've got one more that I forgot to uh, forgot to make anything out of, but I have cut it out so you can see. So they did send me one more than I had remembered. Where is the die? Uh, here it is. So here's the card, as you can see, that I have made using it. And the die is this one. Um, and it cuts out this lovely floral shape. And I just thought, how nice is that? I was thinking how nice it would be for, that's going to annoy me there, um, for like a scrapbook layout. I could just see that on a scrapbook page. But I went for some really spring colours. And I put a birthday sentiment on there because I thought I'm always getting told I need more birthday cards by Mr Coastal Crafts when he comes looking for a card to send out. So that one is a birthday one. So that's cut with some patterned, um, patterned card stock. And you could inlay it, couldn't you? That would take you up to the ages and I haven't got the patience to do that. But I quite like it not inlaid so you know about inlaid you basically the bits that come out you just stick them back in in a different color um but yeah i really like the way that's come out i was keeping it I was trying to keep it quite simple and then i kept adding a few bits on but it is still still quite simple so really nice floral floral flourish um i did also cut it a bit out of foil it didn't enjoy being cut out of foil quite as much um but I also think that would look really nice. And the third one that I forgot that I got sent, because my memory, was this one, which is another really nice, like a background um, die. And I had a little go just cutting it out, just to see how it cut, but then I forgot to make anything out of it. But I'm sure you can get the gist if I can find something to... I just want to put something in the background so you can get a better better view see so you're going to get that explosion and I was imagining sort of some focal image in the middle I got a focal image floating around let's see what I've got my little stash of nothing very exciting yeah that's a bit rubbish that one isn't it but um so some kind of image and then you would have all the hearts radiating out which i think will look really nice i just completely forgot about that one um so that's a nice bonus <laughs> got that one as well and i did take although i might have dropped them all now but i did take all the little hearts that came out um they're quite cute as well aren't they so i felt that you could collect those up and use them on a project especially if you cut it out of foil cardstock the way that I did. So yes, yeah, some nice spring dies. Um, check out the links below, let me know what you think, and I shall see you very soon.